Well, it's good to be with you this morning, 7 at 7. That's 7 a.m., 7 p.m. I'm Walter Hallam. And during this series of, of teachings and these short uh, minutes that we have together each day, I'm going to speak to you about receiving from God answers to your prayers. You know, we're in a very unique time in the history of our nation with all this uh, uh, pandemic and the coronavirus, plus there's so much unrest in the nation. If as a Christian, if you're not praying today, I don't know for sure when you would ever be praying. Now's a time to talk to God. But I have a little saying I like to use that the name of the game in prayer is answers. Because God is our Father and Jesus is alive. And the Holy Spirit is here today. God has given us His Spirit and He's given us His Word, the Bible. It's just full of promises and His covenant vows toward us when we say yes to Jesus Christ as Lord. Then we learn how to pray and we'll receive from God. That's what we are talking about this week. And I believe uh, you're going to learn and you're going to grow. Thanks for sharing this today. Thanks for liking it. Uh, always uh, go to the YouTube channel for Walter Hallam Ministries. Be sure and subscribe to that. And even on Facebook and other areas, be sure and follow. Let me know that you're watching. And uh, that just inspires me so much to just try to go one more mile and to teach. And I hope this has been a blessing to you and you're using this to help bless somebody else. All right, let's get right into this today on prayer. In our last session, we talked about deciding what you want from God. It's so important because a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. And the Bible says, let not that man think that he will receive anything from God. James chapter 1, verse 6, 7, and 8. Very important that you decide what you want. And then you evaluate, is that in line with the will of God? The Word of God and the will of God are the same. For instance, if you're desiring something that's illegal or immoral, uh, then you just need to correct yourself. But if you ask God for something that's illegal or immoral some way, then you can be sure that God is not going to answer that prayer for you. Now, can you make things happen yourself? Oh, absolutely. Anyone can do something that's outside of the will of God. But what if we pray and we ask God for His help? and we receive God's will in our life, then we're set up for success. All right, so here's the second thing today I want to talk to you about, and this is very powerful. When you're going to pray and get answers to your prayer, read scriptures in the Bible, read verses, read the promises in the Word of God that apply to the thing that you are actually asking God for or desiring. So learn uh, how to uh, open your Bible, find scriptures, find verses uh, in the Bible that, uh, that speak. Of, let's say you need healing in your body. Well, the Bible says in Isaiah 53, 5, that with His stripes we are healed. So we begin to pray according to those promises. 1 Peter 2, 24 says, and with His stripes we were healed. Mark 16, 18 says that believers would pray, they would even lay hands on the sick and the sick will get well. James chapter 5, one of the great promises in the Bible, says that are there any sick among you? Let them call for the spiritual leaders of the church who will pray the prayer of faith, anointing them with oil. And God will hear that prayer and He will save them from their sickness. I just believe, uh, for instance, if we will stick with the Word of God and we'll see the promises and the covenants that are in the Word of God and pray those things as we pray. We talk to the Father in the name of Jesus. And then we, uh, we begin to thank Him for His goodness, for His power, for His name. Uh, we, we know what we desire. And then we find scriptures in the Word of God and we pray those scriptures as we begin to pray. And in so doing, many times, uh, I just say your adversary, the devil, will try to create doubt and strife and unbelief in your life. But you know, you'll be just like Jesus when Jesus said, it is written. What a powerful promise. It is written, the Bible says. So when you begin to pray that way, you rebuke that, uh, that false thought, that lie, that word that's actually not from God that's trying to hinder your faith. 
uh, when you make a decision to stand on the Word of God, then you know something is in the will of God because you're praying a promise from God. What a powerful thought. A confidence begins to come to you when you know you're praying according to the promises of God, according to the Word of God. I hope this is helping someone today. Maybe you're needing a job. You know, the Bible says that we should work until He comes. We should do our work until He comes. The Scripture says that the diligent hand, those that are diligent in their work, see that man, the Bible says, he will be blessed in his doing. We understand that working is a good thing. It's a joy to have a job that satisfies, that drive on the inside of you for accomplishment, as well as helping supply the need in your life. And then, of course, God can expand it if you're faithful with that work and you learn how to grow what God has given you. It's very important. Romans 10, 17 says, So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. Uh, let that sink in. Faith moves mountains, and faith moves God. But listen, if your faith doesn't move your mouth, if your faith doesn't move your heart, if it doesn't move you in prayer, then why do we think it would even move God? Well, faith comes by hearing the Word of God. So when you uh, hear the Word of God, and you claim that promise, and you begin to pray over it, expect to receive from God. Expect an answer to come. I hope this is helping you this week as we are talking about prayers that get an answer. Let me pray for you now. Father, in Jesus' name, my friend today that's watching, the one that's here in the United States and those that are in other countries today that are watching, Lord, there's no boundary to you. And I pray, God, as we come before you today, that the need and the desire that you've placed in the heart of every man and every woman. Father, that they will focus according to the Word of God, pray, believe in their heart, ask you, and receive their answer. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I trust you're growing, you're learning. Be sure and like this today. Thanks for following and always follow on Facebook with us, on Instagram, on anywhere that you find us. Please go to YouTube. Always do that and subscribe and take some time and go to Walter Howland Ministries' website. Look through the website there and I cannot wait to see you on the next 7 at 7.